critical colon cancer symptoms you should never ignore. How to know if you have colon cancer? What are the early symptoms of colon cancer? What symptoms indicate advanced stages of the disease? How can you detect it early? What exactly is a colonoscopy and who should consider having one? What are intestinal polyps and how can they be prevented from turning into cancer? Most importantly, are there natural ways to prevent and combat this condition? Welcome to Health Strides. Cancer rates are on the rise. But why? While cancer historically has been associated with older age groups, there has been a noticeable trend of cancer diagnosis occurring in younger individuals in recent years. Today, let's delve into this worrisome trend and stimulate a thoughtful conversation. You'll want to stay until the end because we're discussing the prevalent symptoms of colon cancer that you could potentially be encountering and what could be putting you at risk for colon cancer. Colon cancer stands as a formidable health challenge in modern times. According to a study published by the American Cancer Society, it ranks as the third most frequently diagnosed cancer and the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths. However, what compounds this challenge is the intricate web of the industry surrounding it, fueled by financial interests, misleading advertisements, and a deluge of perplexing information. This complex landscape often leaves patients and healthcare professionals alike confused and misinformed. You might be wondering what the common misconceptions are. Contrary to popular belief, Genetics alone don't solely determine your risk for colon cancer. While having family history can elevate the risk by 5 to 10 percent, recent findings published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology indicate that lifestyle and dietary factors play a pivotal role. The study underscores that while genes may predispose individuals to the disease, it is ultimately lifestyle choices that significantly influence its development and progression. You know, it's fascinating how much we're learning about the link between antioxidant-rich foods and preventing chronic conditions. Studies such as those published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition highlight their effectiveness in reducing the risk of diseases like heart disease, cancer, and neurodegenerative disorders. This growing body of evidence signifies a promising direction for future preventative care. Now I'm going to answer all of your burning questions about colon cancer starting with how to detect it early. This cancer can elude many people because it doesn't produce symptoms in the early stage. It starts off slow, taking its time to grow a polyp on the intestinal wall and doesn't typically interfere with the inner workings of the intestines. What are polyps, you may be wondering? Intestinal polyps are small, benign tumors that protrude from the intestinal wall. They often go unnoticed since they don't typically cause symptoms. Adults over 45 years are most at risk and are advised to regularly undergo colonoscopies every 10 years to check for them. However, if you have a first-degree relative who has had cancer, it's advised to check with your doctor to set up a more frequent screening schedule. Let's move on to the symptoms you'll experience if you have this cancer. If your bathroom routine has been pretty regular, like going every day or every few days, and suddenly you find yourself constipated, not going for like a week or more, that could be a serious sign of something going on. You might also notice a change in the shape of your poop. It could get thinner as it moves through your intestines. You might go through times of diarrhea followed by periods of constipation. For some, it's chronic diarrhea. 
which could prompt doctors to suggest a colonoscopy to check for signs of an intestinal tumor. If the cancer has progressed, you might notice symptoms like abdominal pain due to gas buildup from obstruction, abdominal swelling, weight loss, fatigue, and ongoing tiredness. Internal organs may also be affected, showing symptoms like liver pain from cancer spreading or experiencing shortness of breath if the lungs are involved. This underscores the importance of learning how to spot early signs of the condition and, more importantly, adopting natural preventative measures. With all that said, let's dive into the main point of this video. What causes colon cancer? Well, it's a mix of our genes and how we live our lives. But get this. With the evolution of medicine, our understanding of genes has evolved, showing they're not as fixed as previously believed. Turns out, our diet plays a huge role. Researchers at the Harvard School of Public Health published a study in the British Medical Journal analyzing the dietary habits of over 120,000 participants. They found a strong correlation between dietary choices and overall health outcomes, emphasizing the critical role of diet in maintaining health. So, what we choose to eat, how we cook it, it all influences our gene expressions. It's pretty wild, right? But hey, it's also empowering. Now this is really interesting. When we opt for healthier choices, genes linked to chronic inflammation, dementia, obesity, heart attacks, and cancer tend to become less active. Conversely, making poor dietary choices and embracing unhealthy habits can ramp up the activity of these genes. This can potentially accelerate the growth of a polyp, leading to its transformation into a serious cancerous tumor over time. You may be wondering, are you in the clear? Well, if you indulge in ultra-processed foods containing unhealthy fats, or you excessively eat red meats, particularly those like sausages, salami, and ham, you're potentially jeopardizing your health. It's essential to scrutinize the labels of packaged foods at the store for unhealthy vegetable oils such as soybean oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, and sunflower oil, which are rich in omega-6 fatty acids. Realistically, they're in almost every frozen food, and consuming these oils in excess can lead to inflammation and various health concerns. Here's a harsh reality check. Items packed with excessive sugar or sodium often fall in the category of ultra-processed foods, which fuel the flames for tumor growth. Ultra-processed foods have been officially declared as carcinogenic, meaning they are capable of causing cancer. Unfortunately, it's often the most tantalizing foods that pose the greatest threat to your health. So stay resilient, my friends. Now let's focus on the positive. Many research institutions have published studies linking the association between anti-inflammatory and antioxidant-rich diets and the reduced risk of colon cancer. These studies collectively contribute to the growing body of evidence supporting the role of dietary patterns in colon cancer prevention. So, what foods can you eat to reduce the risk of colon cancer? Make sure you're getting a rainbow of fruits and veggies every day. Spice up your meals with turmeric. It's not just tasty, it's packed with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant goodness. And don't forget about those healthy fats. Get your omega-3s from fish like salmon, tuna, sardines, or from plant sources like flaxseed and sesame seeds. Chia is a favorite superfood of this channel, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my upcoming chia seed videos. 
Avocados and eggs from free-range chickens are also great options for healthy fats. Nuts and seeds, including pumpkin seeds, are also great for keeping your intestines healthy. And of course, don't forget to drink lots of water and consume loads of fiber to keep things moving so your intestinal flora are happy. Now, let's quickly discuss lifestyle factors that will keep your colon risk at bay. Prioritizing healthy lifestyle habits like getting enough sleep and engaging in regular exercise is crucial. Even just 20 minutes of walking per day should help. And you won't believe this. Fostering social connections actually has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, promoting overall well-being and preventing the risk of cancer. So, what do you think? If you have anything to add, please share it with us in the comments below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and send it to your friends. Together, we can raise awareness about the importance of cancer awareness and prevention. Let's help others take better care of their bodies. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and stay well.